Hey, hey, it's Shay Shay. Welcome back to my channel, guys. And if you're new, welcome to my channel. So today we have another new fall collection, Victoria's Secret Review. This is gonna be the Endless Autumn line. So this is new for fall 2021. All the ones I'm reviewing to you guys as of late in October is new. There's four scents in each collection. Now, what I will quickly say really quick is that this collection, this Endless Autumn collection, has not gotten the best reviews. People said it was kind of funky. So we about to test it out now. And I did sniff these prior, but I haven't sniffed them in a while. So yeah. We will re-sniff these and I'll give you my opinions. Again, people said this line was kind of funky and they said it was stained. They said they didn't like this line. So that makes me nervous again. But let's get right into the review. Okay, so the first one is Sliver of Sun. I don't know why I always read that as Silver of Sun. It's not silver, it's sliver. I don't know. But this one says that the notes are bright bergamot and coconut musk, glimmer of warmth. So it's a bergamot coconut musky scent. Not really what I go for. I do like bergamot, but y'all know. I know I like some coconut fragrances, but I still don't like coconut, okay? So y'all know I don't really like coconut, right? So this has coconut in it, a little nerve wracking. And it's a pretty yellow color. All of these are different colors. The packaging does kind of give me either fall or beachy vibes, pretty much. But here's the yellow one. Okay, so Sliver of Sun is giving me a bergamot, like just like what it says, a bergamot coconut musky scent. It's a warm coconut musky scent, but the bergamot always makes it fresh in fragrances. Yeah, this is mainly giving coconut musk, which is not my favorite, um, but the bergamot I do like. It like uplifts it a little bit and makes it just a tad bit fresh, but it's mainly a warm musky coconut scent for the most part to me anyways, with a little bit of sweetness too. Um, this is giving me um, summer vibes. This is, does not smell like fall to me. Um, coconut and fragrances already instantly just put you back to summer. Yeah, this is giving a little bit sweet, coconut musky, bergamot with the hints of freshness vibes. Basically summer vibes, not fall-like, so that's very interesting. It's okay, I don't like coconut, but it is kind of like a nice scent, so. And this collection also doesn't last super long on my body chemistry. It probably lasts about three to four hours, I would say, but one of them lasts a little bit longer on me, just a little bit. We'll get into it, but it's not this one. But yeah, Sliver of Sun is okay. If you like coconut, musky, a little bit sweet scents with a hint of bergamot freshness, you'll like this, but it's mainly a coconut fragrance, so it reminds me of summer. I don't know. That one, that sliver of sun didn't smell too bad. So, so far we're on a good start. So the next one is Wander the Meadow. And this is like in a pretty light green packaging. And the notes are strawberry rhubarb and freesia bloom. So it's a fruity floral. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, sorry. <laughs> this one stinks. This one stinks. Ooh. Mmm. This smells first of all, this this thing. This smells disgusting. <laughs> um I really don't know what to like this really smells like not good. Um this one, okay, so actually this was one of the ones that I was most excited to try. The strawberry rhubarb. I don't really know what rhubarb smells like. That's probably what's throwing it off. Um, the strawberry, y'all know, I love strawberry, fruity, anything. I love strawberries and fragrances, but this just ain't it, sis. This literally smells like grass, like a dirty body, B.O., funky, kind of expired smell. It kind of smells like an expired spray. Like, oh, this is not the business. This smells, with a hint of cologne in there, on a dirty man. This just does not smell good. The Freesia blooms. Now Freesia, I kind of like it, but it has to be done right in fragrances for me, like the note Freesia, Freesia blooms. Yeah, this is giving me moldy flowers, expired, dirty BO, cologne man, like BO smell, mixed with some leafy grass. That's what this is giving. Mm-mm, mm-mm. 
This smells disgusting. I don't know why I keep smelling it because it smells nasty. <laughs> but yeah, I think this is why people said this collection smells funky because this one is not good. This wander the meadow. Don't wander the meadow. It stinks. <laughs> don't wander it. Um, yeah, pass. <laughs> no. Okay. Regrouping. Um, so the next one is going to be Harvest Moon Gaze. And this one is in an orange bottle. So Harvest Moon Gaze says the notes are fresh lavender and sequoia glow. So I know it's like a sequoia tree, so it's like a woody scent. So it's a lavender woody tree scent. Okay, this one's a little bit funky too. At first, it kind of does smell nice because of that lavender. It's kind of like a fresh yet kind of earthy lavender. So it smells good and then it doesn't. I don't know, in my opinion. I really, this is so weird. I like it and I don't like it at the same time. It kind of reminds me of a perfume, but I cannot put my finger on it right now. Maybe like a Marc Jacobs perfume kind of? I don't know, I can't really like figure it out right now, but it kind of reminds me of a perfume I've smelled before. Yeah, lavender is another note that I don't necessarily love. Like it has to be like a sweet lavender or a very fresh, light, calming lavender smell. Um, I don't like it earthy or too powerful because then it really smells off to me. This has equal lavender, equal sequoia wood smell, but it's like a, almost kind of like a perfumey, a little bit sweet, fall like lavender scent like that's woodsy with that sequoia in there almost like sequoia sap or something i don't know like something a little bit sweet too okay this one is one that actually is starting to smell like fall those two were smelling like coconut musky dirty spring and this one's smelling more like a transitional scent into fall to me this harvest moon gaze and the name is very much fall harvest moon gaze that's fall but the scent it could be transitional into fall. I'm on the fence about this one. This one smells nice and then it doesn't and then it smells nice again to me and then it doesn't, I don't know. And on my skin it doesn't perform the best either, like the smell of it either, I don't know. Maybe I have to keep trying these out but this line is right now not my favorite. But yeah, I think I'm on the fence about this one because again, it's like it's good, then it's bad, then it's good, then I'm like, I don't know. On the fence, I'm kind of iffy about this. If you like lavender woody scents though, I think you would like this one, so yeah. And the last one, we saved the best for last again. Spoiler alert, again. <laughs> I'm giving y'all spoiler alerts as I'm going through the review, but whatever. So this one is the best one to me and my favorite personally. You may not like it or you may agree with me. It all depends on your scent preference and your body chemistry. But anyways, I say all that to say that this is lost in a daydream and it's in a pretty pink packaging. The notes are Chris Apple, Hazelnut Woods, Autumn in the Air. So it is a apple, hazelnut, sweet, woody scent. And this smells bomb, you guys. I did smell it before, like I said. I smelled all these before, but it's been a while. But this, I just remember is my favorite. Yeah, this smells just like the notes, a very hazelnut, apple, woody smell. All of the notes go together. You guys know I love me an apple scent. Your girl loves a good apple scent, okay? This smells so good. This could also be a springtime scent to me, but this one's leaning towards more fall as well, like more than the other two, so. Mm, it just smells so good to me. You definitely smell the apples the most and then you do smell that hazelnut sweet a little bit woody fragrance It is again could be spring or fall scent It smells really good and unique to me I really like this a lot and it does the best on my body chemistry and this is the one that I was saying before that lasts a little bit longer than the other ones. The other ones are like two to three hours. This one's more of a four to fiver if I spray a lot. Um, it doesn't last super duper long, but it smells the best to me out of this whole collection. So yeah, this Lost in a Daydream is my favorite. Kinda smells yummy. Mmm, smells really good. I, I just really like this scent a lot. It just smells really, really good. Ugh, 10 out of 10. Okay, so let's get really quick into the rankings. We're gonna rank these one to four like we have been doing, you know, to give you a better idea of what I think overall and my recommendations and my least recommendations. So really, my only favorite is Lost in a Daydream. This is my number one favorite and recommendation. And then if I had to pick a number two, and of course we're gonna rank them, number two is Harvest Moon Gaze. It's a very 
kind of earthy yet a little bit sweet lavender sequoia woody tree scent very interesting i'm on the fence about it but this one i do love so this is one and this is two my third um least favorite for sure is the sliver of sun this is a coconut bergamot scent very musky a little bit sweet but it's mainly a coconut musky scent um this screams summer absolutely not fall and this this wander the meadow mm, this stink y'all this one stinks in the bottle on the skin this is something i would absolutely not want to smell like when i'm going out trying to impress somebody this is just disgusting so yeah this is coconut musky sweet bergamot and this is just bo musky cologne man dirty old moldy garden freesia floral just it's not good so this one is the one that's the worst this is number four so number three number four zero out of ten don't recommend all right, and that completes this review on the Endless Autumn collection. This, I'm just gonna tell you, is one of my least favorites. Um, just overall, I do not like this collection except for Lost in a Daydream. That is my only favorite in this collection and the only one I recommend. I don't like pretty much most of them and they're not really fall like either um a lot of these collections are not fall like other than the untamed so that's kind of like my overall thoughts but yeah so this collection is pretty much a no it's a no for me except for lost in a daydream but yeah other than that it's a no this collection is actually super funky i don't know what's going on with it the people weren't lying the people have spoken victoria's secret i don't know what's going on with this collection but it is funky okay so let me know your thoughts do you think it's funky do you think it smells bad do you think it smells good do you agree with me do you not what are your favorites your least favorites let me know down in the comments below because y'all know i love to chat it up and yeah let's get quickly into my quote to end this video i want you to know that you can go for your dreams in life and do anything that you want in life if someone else can do it so can you because why can they do it and you can't we all have the same 24 hours in a day yes people have more resources maybe more money maybe more opportunities but you can still do a lot in your 24 hours okay don't ever let what someone else has discourage you that just means that if they can go for their dreams so can you on a more positive mental health kind of note giving positive vibes okay doesn't hurt to be nice or positive in the world in the atmosphere so i want you to know that you are important your life has meaning and you yes you have value never forget your worth you're worth so much you mean so much to somebody out there you know you're meant to be here you're beautiful you're loved always know your self-worth it can take you so far in life in friendships relationships situationships whatever you're going through know your self-worth and know you always deserve better we all do okay especially if you're a good person and also back to going for your dreams i believe in the lord i'm a christian woman i believe in prayer or whatever higher power you believe in i believe in jesus christ i'm a christian woman and i believe prayer is so powerful god hears you he works miracles he moves mountains i'm telling you guys your prayer never goes unanswered or unheard even if it's not on your time or answer the way that you you wanted it to be know that God's listening and God will move things in your life I'm telling you I have my own personal testimonies and that's just that on that so never stop praying because prayer is so powerful but all right guys that's pretty much it for this review let me know again what's your thoughts don't forget to follow me on Instagram and TikTok and I will see you in all the other new collection reviews all right thank you so much for your support I hope I did this review justice and yes this collection is funky okay so keep that in mind if you haven't tried it already but all right guys on that note I'll see you in the next one See you later, guys. Be blessed.